Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of the Valkyria Chronicles uh, Blind LP. So, uh, we're going to start chapter 2 now, and possibly get through it. I'm not sure how long this uh, series is. Uh, I made quite a few thumbnails uh, in, uh, in pre... Um, just to just to make them before I record the episodes, just because it was easier. But Isara, Martha, please be okay. Martha. What's her problem? Is she pregnant or just fat? Who cares? Not gonna make any difference when she's dead. Stop this now! See what she's wearing? Take a good look at that shawl. She's a darkson. And that explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. So, we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. P.U. It's a regular pig farm in here. you to watch your tongue in this house you have to leave now that's a big gun for such a little girl drop it isara huh hold it right there Sarah, are you okay? I'm okay thanks to you. But Martha, I think she's... Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. <clears throat> Moving her would be dangerous. Right. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we gonna do? There are a lot of Imperials out there, Ys. It's only a matter of time before they take over the Mill Plaza. Welks, listen. The barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. Something that might get us out of this mess. Okay, so I'm guessing they probably left us a tank. Uh, yeah, they probably left us a tank based on this picture of a tank. <laughs> but, uh, so I guess Darkson is probably the equivalent of Jewish in this, in this thing. Like, oh yeah, gotta have some xenophobia towards something, so let's let's make a not Jew and have them identified by a shawl. Like, okay, cool. That's fine. But we're gonna get a tank. I'm excited. And how has he never seen this? Dad's tank. Whoa. I can't believe it's still here. And it's one of a kind. Here it is, the Edelweiss. Tamer built it especially for General Gunther. Yeah, and it worked great, too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great. But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much. Hardly any alterations at all. I just fitted it with a new turbine engine. It really improves on the power to weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work, what's next? All right, Welks, you took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah, back in high school, once. We'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank and we can move to a better location. Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. Isara, we ready to roll? 
Engaging engine. The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Alicia could still be out there dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. Here's the plan. We're gonna pick up Alicia and get out of town. All right, Edelweiss. Move out! Okay, so we're probably getting to a fight, so I'm gonna gonna save right here. But doink. Let's do it. Uh, so that means Isana is probably a tank. Uh, I like how she. It, this is just the thing. It's like, okay, yeah, I tell you what to do, even though I'm not here. So Isana's probably like a tank character, although I'm not sure how that's gonna actually work because. It does seem like she can't do it alone. I'm guessing after this mission I'm gonna get someone that's like, oh, because he's gonna be out of the tank, I'll command you or something like that. Brule. The enemy squad is centered around a single tank, currently advancing from the plaza onto the main road. We need to defend the gate on that road. If the enemy breaches it, the evacuating townspeople will be in danger. They'll probably head for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with them. Our goal here is to take out that tank while keeping the gate standing. Without the help of your tank, it's next to impossible for us to destroy their tank. Unless we can rendezvous, unless we can rendezvous which I love that word. It has an unneeded Z in it because it's French. I believe it's French. Vous? Yeah, that, that's probably French. The Brule Town Watch will do everything we can to keep that gate in one piece. Town Watch will need to hold off the enemy forces until you arrive with the tank. We'll need to use the sandbags around the starting point and gate for cover to hold back the Empire's attack. Okay. So, Brule's main gate is destroyed, the two die, 20 turns pass, and your tank is destroyed. Alright, let's begin. We've got to stop them here. I don't like that, like, oh, if you go through so many turns, you lose. I find that dumb. If this gate falls... There's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. Cool. Explain to me. About sandbags and hand Oh, I'm getting hand grenades. By moving behind sandbags and selecting crouch, the unit's defenses are maximized and extra damage for headshots is negated, as you have said. When focusing on defense or ending one's turn, it's always the best to hide this way. Yes. Contrarily, this means the enemies hiding behind cover are well protected and more difficult to defeat as well. True. This is why hand grenade is used. Its explosive power can destroy handbags. So you use a handbag, handbag, use a hand grenade to destroy the sandbags so that they're out of cover and you can kill. Okay. Press the X button, the weapon. We God, I am sucking. It's like I'm reading two words at once. The weapon toggle button to cycle among your options to hand grenades. I wonder if I've had hand grenades the entire time. Just never checked. In this battle, Alicia possesses some. Okay. Grenades are limited in number, so use them wisely. Each player phase units will recover one hand grenade. I wonder if there's a limit to how many hand grenades you can throw. Okay. So I don't have the tank yet. So. My turn, okay? But I do have four moves. Be. Enemy sighted! Enemy sighted! Enemy sighted! Enemy sighted! Oh god.
was a less than ideal turn. Is that? Oh, I c there's a back road. Didn't realize that. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, sir. And that one. It is really fun to just be like, oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I'm just going to uh, run up to your head and then literally destroy you. <laughs> you idiot. I don't see any other things. Ah, damn it. Can I crouch? I am... Damn it! Okay. Ugh. Alicia might die. That, 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 that is an actual threat. Because I didn't realize I could go up here because I'm an idiot. I was probably supposed to grenade these guys because they're all in one giant pouch. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move her. Uh. That's a ragnade. Is not doing exactly hot on uh, on life right now, but I'm hoping I've I, I'm hoping I've killed enough soldier enemy soldiers to be uh, to be useful. Okay. Okay. So the main gate has health. Didn't realize that. But there's not much I can really do to that. So now they're moving up. Can they shoot the main gate? Yeah, they can. Ugh, god, okay. Yeah, this was very not well thought out on my part. I am doing a horrible show. Okay. So, what I need to do is I need to... I need to move Alicia back so I can throw a grenade at them. About Ragnade, a small amount of damage is healed at the start of each player phase. Sometimes a unit that has he suffered heavy damage needs help to arrive faster. They need Ragnade. Okay, so it's a Gatorade. <laughs> yeah, another prior Ragnade or Ragnade combines healing and antibiotic properties into a single medical package. Select it with the X button, then press RB and select a target. Place the crosshairs on a neighbor ally to heal them or place them on no one. Use this handy item to heal yourself. Okay, so it's just a healing item. Okay, so I need... I need to stand... Fuck. Okay. Change. Duck! Is there any way to throw it farther? It's <laughs> another. Oh. Damn it! Okay. No more. 
Damn it. Okay, first failure. Alicia! Damn it. Okay. Well, good thing I saved. Retry battle. Okay. So that was... That was dumb of me. I will readily admit that. If this gate falls, there's going to be even more casualties in Fantastic. The town watch will defend this gate so as met. Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to use Alicia. And now that I know the layout of the map, I'm going to run over here. the guys from up there but I'm not too worried not too worried about those guys what I do want to do is set this guy up over here because those guys are gonna come Target. Does not seem to be anyone I could target. So he's here just because when those guys move, I want uh, someone to be over here to at least uh, take some hits, kinda. And he has right his small ragnades and they're infinite. So I'm gonna end that current action. And then there are people here, but I do want to take care of these guys. That way they don't uh, flank Alicia. Okay. So, with that, I am going to... Uh, going to end this current action. So I can then use him again, so he can attack again. Take out that guy. And then after that, I'm going to move him back over here. That way he has visuals on those guys. And then I'm going to end the current action. Because I believe crawling in grass probably like gets rid of visual on Alicia, so I don't believe she's out in the open. Not sure though. So I'm worried because he might be shot. When it says this does nothing to a tank, it really does nothing. Like it's not even taking any tiny damage. Okay, so it seems to be that the tank will only shoot the gate in this map. And they made it like a wall. But luckily, that guy was an idiot and had two people just fire, like, gang him in a crossfire. And my guys aren't that bad at shots either. Oh. Oh god, my guy. Okay, he's moving. Oh, got some unlucky misses. Okay, that guy was an idiot. I'm liking this. This is a much better uh, uh, t uh, chain of events than the last one. Um, so I know there's a scout there. I know there's a shock trooper here, which is probably why he was doing so much damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this guy. And I'm going to move him. I'm going to climb to get a uh, 
get an aerial view. And from here, get some shots in on him. Because I'm guessing if it has, uh, if it has, like, aerial superiority, like, the chance of shots hitting are less. God, that decreased damage is really decreased. Ah, oh, fuck. Town Watch Master Chief. Okay, I was wondering, like, did I get game over from that? My turn, okay? There doesn't seem to be any. I wish I could strafe at the same time as aiming. Enemy unit spotted. Oh, crouch, crouch, crouch. God damn it, X. Beat. God damn it. Okay, good. Took those guys out. try and shoot this guy again. But I'm not too sure. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use Alicia into target mode. So it doesn't know how much to kill. But I feel like this is the weak point of it. So I'm going to do an experiment and shoot. Okay, it does like, it does one damage per. That was absolute bollock. Okay, gonna end current action there. Yeah. Okay, so they're probably gonna shoot the thing, hit it with another grenade. Possibly. Yes. No, if this keeps up. has arrived. Good. So he's going to be my tank destroyer. Uh, he's going to be my tank destroyer guy. So I need to move this. The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut, Lux. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. About tanks. Tanks possess firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. They are able to deflect nearly all gunfire from enemy foot soldiers. This makes them a solid wall for your own Grand Units to hide behind. Unlike Grand Units, however, tanks do not recover a portion of the lost HP each turn. Tanks also consume 2 CP when selected in command mode. Relying too heavily on tanks in battle will quickly lead to a fatal shortage of CP. Additionally, tanks require AP to turn, so take care to plan ahead which direction you'd like to face at the end and turns end. I will say, moving in this thing is odd. It's a tank! It's a galleon tank! Alicia, I'm sorry we're late. Welkin, you have a tank? We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tanks sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. All right, let's go take it down. Oh, God. Can I target? About attacking with the tank. Tanks have three major means of attack. Anti-shell armor, explosive mortar rounds, mounted machine gun. 
anti-armor shells are effective against enemies covered in hard armor, such as tanks. Explosive mortars will hit a broad area with a ragnite blast, ideal against ground units. Mortar travels along an arc, aim for the center of multiple foes for major results, but be aware that ammunition is limited. Machine gun is best suited to striking enemies that are too close for the mortar, and is used to intercept incoming enemies. Press X to switch between weapons. So... Okay. Well, I guess I got end current action, and this will use two to move it, and then I can use one to possibly get Alicia out there. Entering combat. Okay, so I'm gonna move again. So, anti-armor, just going to uh, aim right there. Really, it missed and did damage to our wall. This gate can't take much more. God damn it. That's absolute shite. Turn, okay. I hope that was at least a checkpoint. Fuck! God damn it! No more. Son of a bitch. My bad, guys. Uh, depending on where this puts me, I'll, uh, current battle from the beginning. Ah! Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna cut in, I guess. What the fuck? God damn it. Okay, Welkin's here. Once again, back at this point, and I have a lot more moves this time. I, I failed again between last time you saw and this current time. So, now I have a lot of movement. Uh, I'm going to try and use 
my movement as uh, as smartly as possible. I'm not because before I wasn't really sure how to control this thing, uh, but because turning does take AP, I'm going to try and go in as much straight line motion as physically possible. Entering combat. Last, like, every single time I have failed, it has been because Alicia has died. So this time, I have done my best to keep her safe. Now, if you remember last time, I tried to take a shot from here, and I missed horribly. I'm not gonna do that again, because now I have enough Entering movements. Combat to get really, really close. Now if I miss, I'm going to be more than pissed. The annoyance is, the difference between hitting this and this is three shots. So I'm going to put it here. Because like, I want to make sure I can hit. Fire! There. Because I'm not aiming for the treads, because that's just for movement, most likely. Tanks have two separate HP build, bodily, body and tread. Uh, attack the tanks by, and main cannon will reduce BHP, while below the treads will reduce THP. BHP reduces zero, tanks destroyed, THP reduces zero, AP is, oh, okay, it's drastically cut, it's not even stopped. It's easier to deal damage with treads than to the body, even with grenades. Halting a tank before taking it out at your leisure may be a strategy that's both safe and that. My god, why can't I read? Glowing blue radiator plate at the tier is its weak point, where even standard bullets can do reasonable damage. Bullshit! I was doing like two per shot. Try to get behind an enemy tank for a chance to take them out while being careful not to expose your own rear or toss off fire. Um, okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this dude, who's just rocking up here, keep an eye on everyone and providing crossfire. Uh, I'm going to try, I'm going to show you, like, okay, so this is from a distance. So distance does affect, like, damage, but actually... Can I back out of this completely? Damn it, I can't switch people. Because if I could, I want to I want to go back to Alicia so I can grenade it. Fuck it. Oh well. Yeah, like I'm not even doing anything at this point. Okay, so yes, end current. It's hitting me from the front, so I'm not too worried about it. And there seems to be a couple uh, foot soldiers in that direction. But I'm not too worried about them. Okay, so I got five movements. I gotta kill this tank as fast as possible. So I'm going to go even. Killed the tank. Oh my god. That was a lot harder than it needed to be. Yes, we stopped it. Nice work, East. I've just been a dumb idiot. So I now I have no idea like how many minutes are gonna be in this episode. Because right now I'm running at like 47. <laughs> Woohoo! Now you're my hero, Welkin. The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time, at least. Welks! Welks! It's a boy! Martha had a boy! She... she gave birth in Dad's tank? Yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. Good! That's fantastic! Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. Ugh. So we're doing pretty good right now. Got decent stats on that. 
what's more metal than giving birth in a tank? <laughs> wish I, I wish I was born in a tank. Maybe. Okay. Making steady progress here. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Gruul was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Brule would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher, so that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. Someday, we'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. Chapter 3 Vassal Urban Warfare. New episode has been added. See, I'm interested to see, like, what's the, uh. What's the, uh, time lapse going to be between, like, the beginning of this game and the end? Like, is that kid, is that baby going to be older? By the end? Like, is it going to be a standing young child? Or is it just going to continue to be a baby and this war was over in like a year? That, that's what I'm interested in. Probably not if they're trying to hold it to like World War either standards, because both of them were like five years. But let's get to it. Let's do it. In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Oh, I Maximilian, didn't. commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Randgris, Gallia's capital, a town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Randgris, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality 
was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. So I feel like they wouldn't be opposed to that. So these are my new digs. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Layers, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. Welkin? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah. You look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopteran exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic. <sighs> Coleo what? And did you just say beetle? Uh, Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle. King of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Uh-huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very welcome sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. New episode has been added. Cool. Let's go talk to this captain man. Squad 7 is born. Fucking Naruto references. Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee Welkin Gunther. Reporting for duty. Ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee Alicia Melkiot. Also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Barat, commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melkiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? All of you? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yeah. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welcome was in science and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying more, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Rand Breeze. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. Ah, uh, cool. So change equipment review info on the members of Squad 7. Command room, choose the members of Squad 7 who will fight in combat, training field, train units to improve combat ability, R&D, upgrade Squad 7's equipment by developing new weaponry, and book mode. Okay. 
and I have the tallies of I'm guessing money and XP. So what's uh what, what's going on in the squad barracks? Okay, welcome Elisa, Rosie, and Largo, <laughs> Largo Potter, Bridget Stark. Oh, dude, where's their wolf? Uh, okay. Oh, he's a tank commander, so he's he's only going to be in tank, I guess now, which kind of sucks because I liked shooting with him, but whatever. Scout, shock trooper, shock troopers were a bitch when I was fighting him. Okay. So he only has a Lancer, so he's like an anti-tank guy, I guess. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, I don't have any... Oh, he does have... What the heck? Galleon 1. Okay. So I guess he can... I don't get it. He's a tank commander, but he also has the galleon one. Whatever. Does not matter. Does not matter one bit. Uh, choose the members who will fight in combat. Yeah. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. Hello. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. I, I read the subtitle. You have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Cool. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. Well, where was Fabio or whatever? This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. That, that's a very smart idea. First off, you have the scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Cool. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, and make it back safely. Okay, so they run good. That, and a keen eye for enemies. A good scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. Awesome. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Uh, my scouts do that really well. They go up and face fuck them. Next up, the shock trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. Yes, that I have experienced that firsthand. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. Okay. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. So they're my all-rounder. Cool. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. <laughs> so, when you need someone, just pick one of them. After them, we have Lancers. Then, anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Okay, so I have to wonder, because I heard then instead of the anti-tank units... So, I'm guessing it's, we have Lancers, the anti-tank units, not then anti-tank units. Okay. Critical when facing armored targets. Yes. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Okay. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. Okay. So these guys are probably, like, some of the best guys for when, like, oh, okay, we need a tank and a Lancer. Fix the tank and give the Lancer some ammo. They can place sandbags for cover, oh. disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. Okay. That really... Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. So don't really use them to fight. Have them undercover until you need them. And use them Lastly, for good. we have the snipers. Oh, yeah, snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. Yeah, but you're, sp you're probably supposed to put them up in a tower and have them out of range and then just, like, headshot people. That should cover the basics. Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time. Okay. 
so I can have 20 units in my squad to move around. Okay, so we got sniper, sniper. Uh, why? That's standing on loose sand sharpens awareness, leading to improved evasion. Confidence that they can best any sniper grants and boost and attack abilities. Even just being around dark since makes them nauseous, leading to decrease in defense. Okay. So you can't be around... Okay. You're an asshole. Hope you know that. Pollen allergy. Heavy pollen allergies mean stay drain of HP when standing near too much plant life. Keen eyesight is unimpeded by darkness and night letting them fire with enhanced accuracy. Uh, having allies nearby is a distraction that causes a drop in evasion ability. Okay. You're... Marina Wolfstead, at your command. Cool. Uh, I need an engineer. So... Uh, Desert Bread, what's Fatalist? When HP reaches a single digit, they dive headlong into despair, causing lowered fire accuracy. It's not bad, because I'm not going to be using them to fight. Uh, the smell of iron clears the head, leading to a boost in attack power. And this soon sets him in a thing to decrease evasion. Um, neat freak, dirt stains lead to distraction and decrease in accuracy. And this soon sets in. Having less than half full AP makes them feel totally exhausted, leading to decreased defense. So you can't really move with this guy, so I'm not going to use him at all. Oh, God. Desert allergy. Sandy area. Fancies women. Having women around makes them want to look good at making them shoot with greater accuracy. Neat. So we got a lesbian engineer right here. Having men nearby triggers a constitutional loathing. So powerful it lowers accuracy. God, you guys are just... Oh my god. Why aren't any of you perfect? Standing on paved roads minds them in the city, making them feel right at home and upping their D. When holed up in camp, they cease to pay attention to the world outside, causing a drop in defense. God, um, I get. I guess you're probably the best guy in terms of engineer. My name's Carl Lanzett, sir. It's a pleasure to join you. Yes. Now, where I have troop killer. What's that? Confidence that they can best any shock trooper grants a boost in attack ability. So if the, he's shooting a shock trooper, I'm guessing he gets a boost. Chatty Cathy. Whenever a close friend is nearby, they can't help a chit-chat distraction that lowers their accuracy. So he should probably be alone. Desert allergy. So you can't really do anything in sand. Uh, but that's not bad. So I'll take him. Hey, Welchter. I'm Melville Young. I'll do my best, man. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, neat freak. Dirt stains. Bent on protecting camp by sheer force of will, they naturally become better at evading attacks. Having brethren close by to protect stairs, enhanced defense. Yeah, you're pretty good. I'll take you as well. Please call me Wavy. From today onward, we fight together. Okay. Now we need to get some shock troopers or whatnot. Um. Neat freak. Yeah. Scout killer can best any scout. That's not bad. Keen sight is on by Yeah, this guy's this guy's solid. Hi, I'm Alex Raymond. I look forward to serving with you, Welkin. Uh Country bred, bad back, born leader. What's that? Standing on bare dirt, boost concentration, bad back, bending over to crouch. So crouching. So basically crouching behind cover lowers his defense. But the boost Give, like, does it just does it take normal damage behind cover? Having eyes nearby sensors, okay. And if he's with other people, that's not bad. Child of nature in Pater. <laughs> Paved roads feel strange and cold, to discomfort and lower defense. Pure hatred for the Empire yields a boost in accuracy. So if I don't have him on the roads, it's pretty good. Charging into face enemy fire makes them panic, decreasing attack power. What, what use is that in a shock trooper? Ugh. Pater. 
Okay, that's not bad. Okay, that's not bad. I'll take. Hey, soldier! I'm Jan Walker. I'll fight with everything I've got. Whose voice is that? I know I've heard that before. Uh, that who was he was a lancer. I was looking at shock troopers, but you know what? Oh, I have to add until twenty. God damn. Does that mean I'm going to have 20 people on the field at some points? Okay, so... Fancies both people, but... What's a metal allergy? Okay, so if he's near, probably like a tank or something. Thank you. Hello. I'm Ted Ustinov, and I've got some great new material for you. Okay, cool. Um... Fuck. Let's just take this My guy. My name is Cesare Regard. I'll handle things my own way, thank you. Oh, I want to smack you already. I don't like you, kid. Um. Now I guess I'll pick you as another engineer. Hello, I'm Claudia Mann. I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. So many of these voices sound so familiar. Okay, there are people that I can, that I can and can't remove. Like I can't remove the people that they gave me from the get-go because they're probably uh, story related. <laughs> okay, so as of right now, I only have two of these guys, two of those guys. So, I'm, so let's try and get a. God damn it! Let's try and get a few more of these guys. Born leader, bad back, uh, claustrophobic. Okay, you know what, that's fine. Hello, I'm Mika Hawkins. I'll be serving under you from here on. And let's... Yeah, so don't hold them up in camp. That's fine. I'm Wendy Chesslock. <laughs> Kaboom. God, some of these people. Like, I understand they just enlisted naturally. But let's take you. Hi there. I'm Yoko Martins. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Now, can I get someone that just doesn't have anything? Oh, he's night blind. Uh, uh, scout hater, camp defender. What are those? Dirt stains. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to be using lances to attack Hi. scouts anyway. My name's Elise Moore. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So I honestly have no idea how long this episode's going to go. So once I'm done picking all this, I'm going to end the episode. Uh. God. Um. Uh, okay, because places like trenches seem calming. Okay, so this person doesn't really have any bad things. I'm Nancy Defour. It's so good to meet you. Uh. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I guess I'll take. I'm Frieza York Handsome. I know you'll take real good care of me. <laughs> For a second, I thought her name was Frieza York Handsome, not York Handsome. Uh. Uh. I think I only have like. Right, I'll take you. My name is Dallas Wyatt. I'm excited to be joining up. Okay, I need one more person. How's got plenty of scouts, plenty of shock troopers, plenty of lancers. Fortunately, I can only get. God damn. It. So four, three, two. So, fuck. Let's get another shock trooper. My name's Jane Turner. I'll do anything if it means putting holes in ifs. Okay. Well, feel like you've struck a balance. Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. 
As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. Okay. Trust in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work well with. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Wow. The squad leader's a lot of responsibility. Come to think of it, Baldio's heading up squad one, isn't he? Oh, that's why it's not on my team. I wonder if he's off sorting through this stuff now, too. I'd better get a move on. Okay. So, I'm gonna end episode two here, because this episode has been a while, and I just went through, I would guess, a lot of boring stuff. So, I'll catch you guys next time. I hope you all have a wonderful day.